Hi, I'm Lungwood Barclay. I'm at the Waterstones Piccadilly, and I'm here talking about the book that's coming out this fall, Elevator Pitch, and uh, which and I guess we'll give you the pitch on what Elevator Pitch is. It's about a sort of a different kind of serial killer who is sabotaging elevators throughout New York City and creating all manner of mayhem. And the, uh, the goal with this book is I want to do for elevators what Psycho did for showers, what the beach did for, what Jaws did for the beach and so forth. So I think that, uh, that what I would suggest in the, in, the, in the bit of time that there is before this book comes out, or even if it is out, that you might want to start taking the stairs for a while to get in shape because you're not going to want to take them after you read this book. I wanted to share with you three books that I've read uh, recently. Um, you know, I do a lot of, like, like most writers I know, I read an awful lot, and if you ask me what I read last week or last month, I won't remember. So when people ask what, you know, what have you been reading, I look at the ones, what have I really read lately that just, just kind of blew me away? And the first one is The Secret She Keeps by Michael Robotham. And in fact, there's one since this one called The Other Wife, which is terrific. I've been a fan of Michael's books since The Suspect in the uh, over 10, 12, 13 years ago. And what I love about Michael's, all of his books, particularly true of this one, is that, you know, a lot of, a lot of thrillers will really get your heart racing, but there's something about Michael's writing that can put a lump in your throat. He makes you care about characters in such a, is so magnificently. And I find that when I, that when I read uh, his novels, that I find that my heart just aches for the people who, that in the, for his characters. So he's, he's, for that reason, he's just one of my favorites. And I want to talk a little bit about uh, one of Stephen King's most recent novels, The Outsider, which is a terrific, uh, terrific novel. It's this sort of doppelganger thing. Imagine if there's somebody out there who looks just like you doing bad things. And it's not just that I love this book, but what amazes me about this novel is that, um, you know, Stephen King's been doing this for a while. And a lot of authors, when they get to that stage in their career, kind of coast. They can just, it doesn't matter what they write, they could just knock it off, it doesn't matter. But I find that, that King has been doing some of the most ambitious work that he's ever done. You know, you look at this, you look at 11, 22, 63, I think it was uh, a few years ago, you look at Sleeping Beauties that he wrote with his son, Owen, and, and the one that's coming out in the fall, I think it's called The Institute. He's turning out these, epics even now and I think he's allowed to coast but he's not and this book is a perfect example of how he's still cranking out some of the best stuff that's out there. So the last book I want to talk about uh, is a little bit out of if the phrase is out of my wheelhouse because I read a lot of thrillers and, and so forth but I've been hearing interesting things about Small Great Things by Jodi Picot. I'd never read Jodi before and I picked this book up when I was going on a, a holiday down to Arizona and it's a story of a, a nurse a black nurse who is uh, treating, a, taking care of a, a, an infant that's not well, and the father is a white supremacist and doesn't want her going anywhere near the baby. And then something rather cataclysmic happens, and the thing is, it's, it's, uh, it reads like a thriller. The characterizations are amazing. The amount of research that Jody does in this novel on legal issues and, and health issues and so forth just blew me away. But mostly it's just a really, really compelling read with a lot to say, and I think it really speaks to the time that we're living in now, uh, particularly with you know, all these sort of white supremacist attacks and that kind of mindset, and why are some people just so consumed with hate. So it's the first book I've read by Jody, but I can pretty much guarantee it will not be the last.